Why is salmon conservation important worldwide and in the Puyallup River watershed? Salmon enhance local ecosystems in the Puyallup River watershed by moving nutrients into creeks and rivers. Salmon are keystone species. Salmon runs function as enormous pumps that push vast amounts of marine nutrients upstream to the headwaters of otherwise low productivity rivers. Salmon carcasses are the primary food for aquatic invertebrates and fish, as well as terrestrial fauna ranging from marine mammals to birds, eagles, ducks, and songbirds, to terrestrial mammals, especially bears and humans. Salmon spend most of their lives in the nutrient-rich northern Pacific Ocean, where they accumulate carbon, nitrogen, phosphorus, and other micronutrients in their body tissue. Salmon play an important role in cycling nutrients back into the watershed, promoting the health of the habitat and their own populations. The coastal watersheds they call home are among the most productive biological communities on Earth. Within these systems, salmon act as the best species indicator of ecosystem health, but their health is in danger. Fish screens at various dams can have as much as a 40% mortality rate downstream of migrating smolts. 70% of the 357 known culverts in the Puyallup watershed are partial or complete barriers to salmon. Impervious surfaces have increased in the area by 47% from 1986 to 2006. Due to the increase in infrastructure, such as roads, rooftops, and parking lots, dangerous stormwater runoff has increased chemical contamination and flooding damage in the ecosystem. Climate change simulations predict a reduction in freshwater survival in the Puyallup due to a greater frequency and magnitude of winter flooding, decreasing egg to fry survival rates. An increase in hydroelectric dams that diminish the travel patterns of salmon since 1900 and the subsequent addition of levees, dikes, and revetments, Commencement Bay has lost 98% of its historical, intertidal, and subtidal habitat. We must improve the access of the salmon to high quality habitat. Salmon habitat restoration needs participation from industry and local communities. There are even easy ways to help every day. Conserve water. Use less at home to save more for the fish. Do not dump any waste in streams or ditches. Lawn grass, pet droppings, or trash in streams hurt fish and may spread disease. Do not pour anything into storm drains. Storm drains lead to streams. Oil, gasoline, and chemicals will kill the fish. Use fewer chemicals. Fertilizers, bug, and weed killers, detergents, and drain cleaners are all poisonous to fish and other wildlife. Use less electricity. The Northwest uses rivers to make hydroelectric power, which is our main source of electricity. Using less electricity leaves more water for fish in the rivers. Plant trees beside streams. Salmon and trout need cool, shady water to survive. Trees also stop erosion and provide more food for fish. Ask others to help. Talk to other people about how to help streams and fish in your area.